Hello and welcome once again to The Outdoor Station, your free audio and video resource for all things involving self-powered travel. Now, Gossamer Gear is a well-known cottage manufacturer of lightweight hiking products over in the US, a brand which has been in operation for many years and who is at the forefront of consistent production for quality US manufactured rucksacks and shelters for the backpacking market. Gossamer Gear is now available in the UK, hooray! And of course this means immediate dispatch, consumer protection, excellent customer service and of course no lottery with import duties and VAT. In this video we're going to be looking at the Gorilla Ultralight Backpack. We'll also look at how uh, the optional hip belt that's available for it and explain how to measure your back length to get the right fit for you. However, before we do all of that, of course, and to help clar clarify which Gossamer Gear pack is the right one for you, here's the overview of the Mariposa, the G4, the Gorilla and the Kumo all together at once. Before we look at one of the packs in more detail, I thought you might like to see the current range that are available uh, as a comparison to each other. Now, before I start, I want to explain that these three packs, which I'll come on to, are long back lengths, large back lengths. And unfortunately, the, this one is a medium back length. That's the only one I could lay my hands on at the time. But we will start with this one. Here you have the Mariposa. This is the pack that the long distance hikers love. Uh, the Mariposa weighs in, uh, sorry, the capacity of the Mariposa is 47 litres plus 22 and with the hip belt, the optional hip belt, it weighs in at 765 grams. But that's the pack that uh, the general uh, long distance hikers uh, like and we'll come on and look at that in a little bit more detail in a moment. This is the G4, which is the ultralight um, pack really for the uh, ultralight enthusiasts obviously and the capacity here we're looking at 52 plus 13 litres on the outside pockets and this with the optional hip belt weighs in at 468 grams and we'll look at that again in a bit more detail in a moment. These are the two packs that the, the long distance hikers are probably interested in and I'll just bring the uh, compare those again in a second. Then we come on to the Gorilla. The Gorilla is uh, 39 plus 16 litres on the external pockets and it weighs in at 737 grams. Um, perhaps a, a long weekend pack or possibly if you can get obviously good 50 litres in there, it could actually be ideal for a longer trip, but you've got a path to pack light. Then we have the Kumo. The Kumo here, uh, that is a 36 litres. There's no uh, measurement from Gossamer gear on the size of the external pockets, but I'm guessing around an extra 10 litres or so for the three pockets we've got here. And uh, that, uh, as I say, weighs in at uh, 435 grams and ideal for uh, a weekend trip uh, or day trips, day walkers and whatever, but a lovely little pack. So let's go back to uh, the two larger packs just to give you a direct comparison. As I say, please keep in mind that obviously that is a long back length and this is a medium back length, so it's the long back length is just fractionally taller on, on this particular pack. Now, there is um, a, a little bit of confusion uh, with actually what these packs come with. So taking the Mariposa, let's start with that one. The Mariposa comes automatically with a sit light pad, the pad on the back here, the aluminium stay inside the back to give it structure, and a, um, a shock cord, some uh, length of shock cord, so uh, to allow you to make up your own compression system over the top or the sides as to suit you. That's what that one comes with. It does not come with a hip belt. The G4, that is what you get with the G4. You do not get any accessories with the G4. You get the basic pack, and that is without a hip belt, uh, without any sit pad. These are all optional extras. So you just get the basic pad, basic uh, rucksack with that one, keeping it to its philosophy of being ultra light, of course. Coming down to the Gorilla, the Gorilla, like the Mariposa, comes with the sit light pad, which goes in here, and the metal stay. Now the hip belt, the optional hip belt, which is available for the Gorilla and the Mariposa is identical. So you, if you've got a hip belt for one, you can use them on both packs. And it's quite useful having a, an optional hip belt because I, for example, would have a long back length uh, on any of the packs, but I'd have a medium belt, which suits my, uh, my, my figure, as it were. Uh, so that works quite well. Now the hip belt for the G4 is unique to the G4. It will not work with the Gorilla, or the Mariposa, so uh, try and keep that in mind. When you order the belt for the G4, it will only fit the G4. And the belt for the G4 comes without pockets, the belt with the, for the Gorilla and the Mariposa comes with pockets. And then finally, just to add to the confusion, 
We have the Cumo. Now the Cumo comes with the sit light pad on the back. There is no metal stay inside at all, so it's just the sit light pad and um, the shock cord inside. Plus this one is actually um, has a, an attached, uh, where are we, hip belt, which is here, uh, which is a standard one and a half inch webbing, which actually is removable. You can just un unhitch that should you wish to do so uh, and possibly replace it with something else or not at all. So that is what that one comes with. So from a size point of view, as I say, keeping in mind that that is a large back length and this is a medium back length. Um, you can just see how they compare from the side and from the front and then from the back as well. Obviously, the sit light pad is in this one at the moment, just purely for packing point of view, so you can see what's involved. That's those two. And if you go to the other two packs, you have the Gorilla and the Kumo. Uh, the Gorilla and the Kumo are both long back lengths, and uh, they've just got padding in there at the moment, just to give you a, a flavour for how the sizes actually compare. So that's a brief overview on all the four packs uh, we have in front of us. So that's all four packs together and uh, you can see now how they all compare. Uh, so if that's whetted your appetite, let's now have a look in greater detail at the Gorilla. This is the Gossamer Gear Gorilla pack, uh, a pack which is rated by Gossamer Gear uh, to be 39 litres internally and 16 litres externally. A medium back length pack with the optional hip belt they rate as being 737 grams. So you're looking basically at a 50 litre, 50 litre ish bag, um, ideal for uh, long weekends, week long trips. I mean, you could possibly do a long trip with this, but I think you might be packing a bit tight. So let's have a look at the Gossamer Gear features once again on this pack, the Gorilla. As usual, it has the traditional huge great pocket on the front here, mesh pocket, lovely big stretch mesh pocket. You can get lots of stuff in there. Uh, that'll be all your, your wet weather gear, possibly your shelter, uh, toilet trowel, first aid kit, anything that might need to save you having to go into the pack during the day. Um, and uh, obviously you can stuff the map in there as well. Uh, as with all Gossamer Gear packs, we have the walking pole loop at the bottom to twist your walking pole into, and then you'd attach it at the top in some way with a shock cord. Turning to the side of the packs, uh, like the other Gossamer Gear packs, we have compression tabs where you can put the cord that's supplied or the shock cord that comes with it uh, to compress this down. And then we have a nice generous pocket on the left and on the right, which you can reach when wearing the pack um, on either side, left or right. Now these pockets also have grommet holes at the bottom, so if should you put something that's soaking wet in there or it's raining really heavily, they will drain of course. So coming around to the back of the pack, the shoulder harness. Um, naturally, we have the shoulder harness in the traditional Gossamer Gear width here, a padded shoulder harness that comes down. This generally is a male shoulder harness, um, although I could say you could say all the Gossamer Gear packs are unisex. They are none of them specifically have a female form harness. So I've seen ladies wear them. Uh, some are comfortable, some are not. That's down to a personal decision. Naturally, you have the adjustable chest brace with a whistle on it which is really useful and at the bottom of the adjustable tabs there is now a male and female clip which I think is designed to keep these tabs out of the way. Uh, personally in use I just find them an inconvenience and I would probably take those off. Now the pack itself comes with the sit mat system here which is the forms the foam part of the frame and an internal aluminium stay and we'll have a look at that in a second. Now, something to bear in mind about these uh, uh, Gossamer Gear packs is that the sit mat air pad here, in a medium and long back length pack, these can be replaced by a standard sleeping pad which you might use, such as a, Goss a uh, Thermarest. This is a Thermarest Pro Light 3, a Neo Air. These generally are 20 inches across the widest point, and you'll find that you can replace that completely with your sleeping mat. And that's simply done by just pulling them out and folding the uh, sleeping pad into quarters, tucking that in, and that will take up the back length nicely. And there's even a space in the corner to blow the valve to puff a little bit of air in there as well. Trying to put that into a short back length actually is very difficult and it's very uncomfortable and the whole thing crumples, so it's not a good idea. So if you're a shorter person looking at a short back length, I wouldn't consider using an inflatable mat as a replacement back system. But in this particular case, um, for medium and long back lengths, it works a treat. Coming to the top of the pack, 
we have the Gossamer gear system here, which is called OTT, over the top. Uh, they have a top pocket, which is pretty good for maps or flat items, your paperwork, your notepad, whatever it might be, pens, such things. But you probably wouldn't want to put anything too bulky in there. As you can see, my hand is fairly tight going in there, uh, but useful for flat items. Uh, the top is released by the two catches. Now the over the top system is a fold system. We're probably all used to the pull cord system where you pull a cord and the neck of the thing closes down, the neck of the bag closes down. In this particular case you've got a little clip here which reduces the volume of the neck. Undo that and that's the full width of the neck there which is plenty big enough for obviously access. But to close the pack down you literally just clip those two together fold that over and the over the top system works. It adds a little bit of uh, water protection I suppose to the contents of the bag uh, but not a vast amount it's just an extra layer of material. Now going inside the pack, let me just remove some of the padding here, going inside the pack you can see that we have the aluminium stay. Now as with uh, all the Gossamer gear packs you do not have to use everything you're provided with so should you feel happy just to have a foam back or just your sleeping mat system as a back system you can take the stay out. The stay is very very good for transferring lots of weight so that's something you need to consider on the particular trip you have but that literally just comes out like that and you can just leave that at home and just slots, slots back in place and velcros down in place. So all in all you're looking at uh, a very comprehensive uh, pack there, a bit of a crossover pack perhaps between um, day walks, weekend walks and perhaps the, the longer trips. Um, you know you, ne you need to make a decision over which capacity pack that, you, that suits your needs. The thing I must mention is of course the optional hip belt. The optional hip belt that sits in the bottom of the um, uh, back area here is velcroed in the centre. It is the same hip belt that fits the Mariposa. The Mariposa and the Gorilla Gear hip belts are identical, they're just the one item and you, it does allow you to choose the back length to suit you. I for example would be a long back length and I would use a medium hip belt. And the hip belts that go with these packs also have pockets on each side as well, so that's something else to take into account. They're optional, you don't have to have them, but at least you always have that facility. So that is the Gossamer Gear Gorilla. As mentioned several times of course the hip belt is an optional extra some people prefer not to have one at all so there's naturally a weight and bulk saving however if you do want to use one here's a brief explanation of the belts on offer. Let's talk for a few moments about the hip belt options which are available for the Gossamer gear packs. We've got uh, six hip belts here two types in three different sizes small medium and large. The ones nearest the camera here these are the hip belts for the Mariposa and the Gorilla pack slightly wider, uh, more padded, more supported and obviously they have uh, pockets on each pack. These three here are small, medium and large which are only suitable for the G4. They will not swap between the packs so I'm afraid you have to get the right belt for the right pack. Now the uh, hip belt pockets are reasonable on the uh, these padded belts here for the Mariposa and the Gorilla. Certainly get a GPS in there, uh, some chocolate bars, a few extra bits and bobs perhaps but practically useful. Whereas the belt for the G4 has no pockets at all. However, what it does have is removable padding. In keeping with its ultralight philosophy, you can just pull the Velcro open there and pull out the foam padding which is supplied and obviously replace it with small items of clothing, uh, which is what the Gossamer Gear original packs used to do. The great advantage of packs which are produced in different back lengths of course is there's more chance of getting one to fit you perfectly. The majority of one size fits all packs which are manufactured and you might see on the high street are suitable for people who are close to 5 foot 10, you lucky things. And this is why people like myself over 6 foot and under those under 5 foot 8 are continually disappointed and frustrated. Measuring your back length is quite a simple operation. Well I hope there's been plenty of information in this video about the Gorilla and it'll help you decide if it is the right pack to suit your needs. 
Please subscribe to all our various feeds and keep an eye out on the Outdoor Station website as there's more audio and video podcasts coming every week. Until next time, folks, bye for now.